The Holy Child program was started in 1995, originally at the request of families in that region of Bethlehem, Beit Jala, and Beit Zahor. The first intifada had just ended, and there was a significant element of trauma in many of the families in that region. When I first took over the transition process with the Holy Child program, one of the things I really felt was important was to have an evidence-based program that would work with this population. This is kind of the last stop for these children. They've been kicked out of every other program in the region. Some of them haven't been to school for years. And culturally, these children bring shame to their family because they're not successful. The reason we really decided to go with Incredible Years was because it was the only program that had a teacher training, a parent education, and a classroom program. We do the Dyna Dinosaur groups four times a week. We provide individual and family counseling. It is a requirement if you are enrolled at the Holy Child program that the parents will be involved. We can't work with these kids and then send them home to an environment that isn't changing with them. Fortunately, most of the staff at the Holy Child program are bilingual in Arabic and English. You ignored, you distracted, and then you praised. I would deliver the program in English and they would do simultaneous translation with me. The teachers had never been exposed to most of these concepts. Initially, when I asked the question, well, let's make a list of how many emotions you think your children might experience in your classroom. And there were only two. And I thought, oh, this is going to be a long unit. I don't know if we're ever going to get through it. Concepts like frustrated or shy or embarrassed took a long time to explain and come up with examples that resonated with them. It didn't necessarily click for them until they started the Dyna Dinosaur Classroom. Then it was, it became a culture. Since we have uh, this kind of uh, incredible years, it helps us a lot of how to promote with our students, even of our family at home, you know? But still we are learning, huh? Still we are going step by step. When we started the program with the children, they were terrified of the puppets. They'd never seen puppets before. Seeing Wally, who was the size of an American four-year-old, come strolling in, many of the kids were really anxious, and it took them a while to get used to Wally. They so interest with the puppets. They love it. We have just one kid. He afraid, and now he love him. He shake with him. We take a picture with him. Dinah is very well received. Some of the new kids refused to do quiet time without Dinah. You know, that was a privilege that they would earn. Could they have their nap with Dinah? Is it your proud and you know that say, I did it, I did it! They love the songs that are in English. They'll sing the English songs and they'll play some of the games, which they absolutely love in English. Claudia said when she started, she had her pyramid upside down. Some of the concepts in the parenting program were more difficult than others for the parents. Looking for positive things to say to the children. That was a huge cultural shift. Everyone admitted that they only focused on the negatives. Watch how the next mother avoids this trap. I thought that the videos were going to be difficult, that they would be bored by them because they were in English, and they love them. They absolutely are more fascinated by them sometimes than anything else. Um, culturally, the mothers are like, look at those fathers, they're helping. And um, there's enough of a diversity in the videos that they can relate to them. They see it as an opportunity to speak frankly without any criticism or judgment for them. The highlight for the program this year was having Dr. Webster Stratton come visit us. I went to the West Bank at the invitation of a woman who's a social worker there 
and it was just an awesome experience. It's a testament to the commitment that you have and the love that you have for your children that it is working. For the mothers and for the group leaders, it was really affirming and I think energized them to really take even more ownership in the program. They were doing practices and showing me that they understood the theory, they knew why they were doing it, and they were really seeing changes in the kids' behaviors. It was amazing. The teachers loved having Carolyn. She came with Dinah and had chats with many of the children. Every classroom had pictures on the wall of the calm down thermometer, of the rules for the classroom. They'd all been translated into Arabic. Everything was in Arabic. The book is in Arabic. Sometimes she's shy, but I tell her she can do it. To see Carolyn working with Dinah and Wally was very liberating and expanding for the teachers in terms of how they could begin to use Wally and Dinah more. They were laughing and giggling and wanting to touch it and give hugs and sing the songs with the puppet. Teachers talked a lot about how it used to be that kids would end up in the principal's office or out of the classroom it doesn't happen anymore. They said it's just been, made a remarkable difference to their school. We would like to be able to expand the program. Actually, we've had requests from different villages who've heard about the program. Because they're dealing with so much stress and conflict all the time there that they're really using these ideas as coping strategies to deal with life around them. Ultimately, I would love to see it spread through the Middle East. It is something that could really benefit people in that region, and they really like it.